As 2012 draws to a close, we're looking back at some of the top words of the year. Merriam-Webster released the top 10 list last week, and we've got associate editor Corey Stamper dialed in to tell us which words made the list and how they went about choosing them. Uh, Corey, I, I see you have plenty of dictionaries behind you. So, I do. So, so of all the words uh, sitting in those uh, volumes behind you, you've identified 10 that have been searched the most. And I guess, and last week, this got a fair amount of attention with socialism and capitalism being the number one words. And I assume that's you know because of the election and all that. But I was struck by number three, touche. Why are people searching for touche? Touche was in the ethos this year. It first had a spike in uh, April. It was used by a survivor contestant as she was being voted off as a way of saying tough luck. And everyone commented on how she didn't quite know it. And then it just seemed to pop up everywhere. It was in the Avengers. It was in Fifty Shades of Grey. It ended up being used all over the place. And people came to the dictionary to look up and see what it really meant. Yeah, an another word that I couldn't for the life of me believe was in the top 10 most searched words, malarkey? Malarkey. Th that, that's a Joe Biden thing, I assume. It is a Joe Biden thing, and that's what drove the lookups. It was looked up uh, 3,000 times more this year, 3,000% increase over last year. And that was entirely due to the vice presidential debate. Paul Ryan criticized the way the Obama administration handled Benghazi, and Joe Biden's response, of course, with all due respect, that's a load of malarkey. So what other stories uh, does the list tell? Meme also made it this year, which was pretty funny because memes are not new this year, but this was the year of meme. Uh, people sharing funny jokes via social networks. This was the year for it with all the elections. We had texts from Hillary Clinton. We had swapping hair on the candidates. All these little jokes propelled lookups of meme. People wanted to know first what it meant and second how to pronounce it. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong or give me your own analysis here, but there seems to be two categories of words. Ones that most people already know the definition of socialism, marriage, democracy, but maybe they're looking for a more precise definition. And then words that maybe a lot of people just don't know the meaning of schadenfreude, meme, touche. Is, is that how you read it? Why are people looking up the definition of marriage? Marriage had a huge spike because of a lot of the legislation around same-sex marriage. And you're right, I think that that is what people do. They hear a word used on the news and they think, well, I know how that, I know what that's supposed to mean. So they go to the dictionary to verify. And then we have words that are kind of rare, like schadenfreude, that people see and aren't sure what to do with. And so they come to the dictionary to find out what it means. What's trending this week? Uh, this week we saw urbane spike in the lookups uh, from a report that eighth grade students don't know what urbane means. Again, one of those words that people are just checking to make sure the use of it on TV matches the use of it that they know. So, Okay, Corey, interesting stuff. I hope I haven't made any uh, pronunciation, grammar, or definition mistakes in the last couple of minutes. I won't call you on it if you have. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks so a lot. Thank you. That's going to do it for us for tonight. We'll fold things up. Hope to see you back here tomorrow.